Today's gospel is from John's gospel, chapter 8, the famous story of the woman who had been caught in adultery. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and this is one gospel story that is very easily imagined. You can just see the enemies of Jesus having caught a woman in adultery, dragging her in front of Jesus, hoping to catch him up. They knew he was a friend of sinners, and they wanted to accuse him of being a lawbreaker to see whether he would be soft on the crime of this woman. Of course, you have to wonder where the man who was with the woman was and why wasn't he also grabbed for punishment. The book of Leviticus was very clear on this, for in chapter 20 it says, If a man commits adultery with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. At any rate, Jesus' enemies wanted to accuse him of being soft on crime, someone who encouraged breaking the law. And if he joined them in stoning the woman, then they could turn the crowd of his friends, the sinners, against him. But Jesus outfoxes them by declaring, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. One by one they drift away, and Jesus is left alone with the woman. He alone is without sin. He alone could rightfully stone her, but he doesn't. He came to save sinners. And at this moment, he saves the woman from stoning and then says something to her that was designed to save her from an even greater evil. He tells her to go and sin no more. Sin no more, because sin is a greater evil. It's the death of the soul.